Okay, folks. This is a bad way to start off a, a video with an apology. <sighs> yeah, this is gonna be rough. So you watched last week's video with the ham radio event the week prior, walls and ceiling. So we all know what you're expecting for this week's video, the finishing of the walls and the ceiling. <sighs> it's not gonna happen. I told you we ran out of foam. Well, guess what? The foam came in, but then I ran out of fabric. I'm an idiot. You know what? Unsubscribe from this channel because this channel right here, this channel right here is full of lies. Okay. <laughs> you know what? Let's just kick this, get it going, and I'll explain everything. Jesus Christ. Okay, so yes, we are not going to do the ceiling and the walls today. I am sorry, I am sorry, I am sorry. I'm not sorry! When I ran out of foam, I should have done my due diligence and checked my fabric. I mean, I just looked at the roll, the physical roll of the fabric, and it looked like I had enough. Today is Sunday, July 3rd, I believe, about noon. So in about six hours, you're gonna be watching the ham radio event, which was last week. This time travel business is complicated stuff. Yesterday, July 2nd, we were working on the walls, trying to get this video here ready. Now I started filming, I've got some of the panels done, but not all of them. So I had to go and buy more fabric, and this fabric is discontinued. <sighs> Took me like seven, eight websites to find it, and it cost me a lot of money. I've got more fabric coming, so hopefully, I'm not gonna say that this is what you're gonna see next weekend, because who knows? I just need to stop telling you what you're gonna see, and you just get what you get. So, what are we gonna do today? Wait one second. Today, we're gonna paint the cab. Originally, I kind of had thoughts of painting it. If you go back, I think it might have even been my second episode, first episode of the series on the van build where I talked about the gray in the cab area and painting it. Well, yeah, we're gonna do that. I just could never settle on what I was gonna do. Which brings me to my next subject. I'm gonna make today's video a little fun for everyone. So if you're watching this, pay attention. That means you have to actually watch the whole video. <laughs> We're gonna play a game. It's called support your local channel or international channel. Support, we're supporting people. <laughs> now I'm gonna be going through filming and you're gonna see physical changes and you're gonna hear verbal cues. Basically, I'm gonna be name dropping other channels and I want you to put the name of the channel, like tag them in the comments below if you think I name dropped them or was showing love, you know. Some of these are gonna be very obvious. <laughs> Some of them, not so much, but if you're fans of these other channels and you know them, then you know who I'm name dropping. So where does that tie in with this? Uh, Allie and Lance, there's your first cue, <laughs> their first clue, very obvious. Uh, Allie and Lance recently just painted their cab and they had the same van, same color on the, the cab area with the grays and I watched what they did. Now, I didn't get the same paint. I don't think I got the same paint as them, but uh, I reached out to them and they told me to make sure that I buy this, Scotch Bright, because they didn't show that in their video. So, Allie and Lance, thank you for the tip. So yeah, we're gonna paint. It's a uh, onyx satin. Kind of looks like taupe. Why do they always paint hallways that color? They say taupe is very soothing. But yeah, all the gray and the van, is getting painted. I've already did the majority of pulling everything out. I'm about to go through with an air compressor, get all the dust and dirt and debris out. All the cab area, I'm gonna thoroughly clean it, mask everything off that we don't want paint to get on, and then we're gonna paint. I'm gonna rush you guys through time lapses, music videos, so pay attention, because during the time lapses and the music videos, I call them music videos, it's just where you're hearing music with cool sequences, not so much of this, you know, talking too much. Look for the name drops. Physical and verbal cues. Pay attention, folks. <laughs> I gotta make this interesting. I gotta make it up somehow for not doing the walls and the ceiling for you, all right? Enough jibber jabber, let's get into this. Let's get shit done. Okay. 
Well, I got it all, uh, well, most of the dust out. Now I'm gonna go in here. Man, it is freaking too hot, I say, to be wearing beanies. Oh my God, what was I thinking? Yes, we got most of the dust out, and I'm gonna go through here and wipe everything down, try to get all the oils and whatnot off all the gray, all the dirt that's stuck in, and then I'm gonna run the Scotch Bright through it, scuff it up, and then wipe it down again, and then mask everything off, wipe it down again, dry it off, and then we're spray painting. All right, let's get back into it. All right, so before filming this part, I went ahead and cleaned the door off. Just wanted to make sure I was using a good soap. Don, easy peasy. Seems to be getting most of the dirt and grime out of the uh, small cracks, the, um, the natural cracks, not elbow made fingerprint cracks. We're just cleaning this off. I'm gonna run you through a time lapse of me cleaning the rest of it because this is boring and mundane. So with that being said, let's get back into this. All right, folks, we got a lot of cleaning to do. Oh man, getting this visor out was a pain in the ass. Will I regret this later? I don't know, we'll see. Uh, but the reason I stopped the time lapse was to kind of talk about something. I don't know in any of my videos where I'm filming in the cab or just filming the cab in general, you've noticed this hanging from my visor. It's like a tree of life type jewelry piece. I actually was driving on my way to meet the Lost Renegades and the Bus Life Pirates to meet up with them in Maine. And about two or three days before I met up with them, I was at a gas station and I saw this old Chevy van with about five or six people in it. Um, they look like your, your average nomad vagabond type person. They had uh, two dogs and you could tell that they were roughing it and living in the van and I just felt like helping out. And so I got them some stuff from the, the grocery store. One of the girls in the group makes jewelry and she gave me this. And so for the last, I don't know, six or eight months now, I've been driving with this. So that's pretty cool. You know, souvenirs from the road. Another reason I stopped the time lapse was I'm going to paint these sun visors, but the reason I'm taking them off this is because I'm not painting the roof. This is gonna be different. I might have told you before what's going here, I might have not, but you'll see before the end of this video. All right, so we're gonna get back into this time lapse, take off this other visor, clean some more stuff, and just continue getting after it. So we've got a lot of the prep work done. We still got some more to do. I'm gonna take a break from some of the prep work because it's hot in that van. It is, it is hot. Like van life, bus life. I'm thinking bus life, more space. That just might make it a hotter box. Tell you what, maybe I need to move out to the open seas, become a pirate. Cool breeze. Anyways, <laughs> we're gonna do some masking, cover up some of the black here, and then also cover up some of the white on the door. Now I'm gonna come back later and all the white along the edges, I'm gonna do in a fat, flat black or a matte black, uh, just to kind of blend in with some of the other matte black areas that I've already done. So as per usual, it's time lapse this, get you through this a lot quicker. All right, let's go.
Okay, so we got it masked off, just this one door. I have yet to mask off any of the rest of the van. About to paint it, I'll show you that, and then we're gonna snap our fingers and mask the rest, paint the rest, and then we'll get to the ceiling. Well, not the ceiling, but the ceiling of the cab. Don't remind me, I know, ceiling, walls. We're getting there, folks. All right, let's get back to it. All right, so we got one, two coats on. It's probably very hard to tell the difference between the before and the after just from watching the time lapse because this is a very fairly light paint. So here, check out these two photos side by side. Here, you can clearly tell the difference. This is what all the gray is going to look like. Let's snap our fingers. Oh, here, let me take you inside. It'll make more sense in there. All right, here we go. We're going to mask all of this and then paint it in three, two, one, and presto. Let me show you what else we got going on. We're letting the cab area dry off a little bit. It's getting wild. So these are all the small bits and pieces that I pulled out earlier in the vid. You'll notice some of them are black chipping. I painted this stuff here with the bed liner spray paint that I used on the floor. Now the reason it's peeling, it's not peeling on the floor, but it's peeling on this stuff because I don't know if this is necessarily made for vinyl, but I didn't clean this material. I didn't scuff it up. And that's probably a big factor as to why it's not even sticking, but I'm gonna peel it all off. As you see, it's coming off fairly easy. Clean it, scuff it properly, and then paint it to match the rest of the cab. These are small pieces that went near the floor on the sides of the seats. And anyways, let's do another quick time-lapse. Get through this. I will update you afterwards and we'll start putting it all back together. Finished product, cab area, something, unfinished van. Oh, will it ever get completed? I don't know. Here it is. Now I showed you a comparison earlier in the video between uh, this color and the last color, the gray. We got rid of all the gray. Now, I, I might have shown you the can earlier in the video because uh, don't try going looking for this paint, all right? <laughs> so the can, if, you, if you're familiar with uh, spray paint, spray cans somewhere usually on the can will be a strip of color usually the color of the paint and within that strip is the name of the paint well this one the strip was black and it said onyx paint but i wasn't looking at that when i bought it i was looking at the color of the lid which was this color like an oatmeal color why am i saying this well 
I only bought three cans because for some reason I thought I can do the entire job with three cans. Why did I think that? I have no idea. But I bought three cans at Home Depot at one location. I was getting down to one can and I knew I needed more cans. So the next day I go to another Home Depot and buy three more cans. And when I get to that Home Depot, I'm looking for the one that has the black strip, Onyx paint, but this lid color. And it's still not registering. You know, Onyx is black. Just, I'm not, I don't know. Don't know what I was thinking. That's just, I was just trying to mimic what I already had. And so there I am looking and I can't find it. But what do I do find? What do I do find? What do I do find? Fun do. As I stand here on my soapbox explaining this to you, <laughs> I, 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 oh man, I'm an, I'm an outlaw. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a regular Butch Cassidy. <laughs> All right, so I find the Onyx satin, but it has the black lid. So as I'm sitting there on the Home Depot floor, yes, I'm sitting in the paint aisle for like 10 minutes, just mine. Ugh. employee comes, finally helps, and I show him my predicament, and we're both stumped, and as we're trying to figure this out, oh, and they have this section where you can paint to kind of make sure you're getting the right color. The onyx with the black lead was spraying black, but I'm looking at the label, I'm like, this is the exact same label, and I had a photo on my phone that shows this can with this paint lid. Anyways, as we're sitting there figuring it out, I see behind another random paint can, onyx satin, but with this color lid. I take it, I go and spray it, and it sprays this color, this oatmeal color, but it has the same label as the black lid. Long story short, Glidden made a mistake, put the wrong label on the wrong paint. Thank the heavens that that mistake went across multiple Home Depots, because like I said, I went to one Home Depot to buy one set of cans, and then another one, so lucky me. Let me take you inside and show you the rest of the paint job. So here's the driver's side door, we'll move right along. As you can see, I masked off everything that would have been black or that was black or that is black and painted the rest. Now, if you might, you might've noticed on the passenger door, there might be a few spots here on the driver's side door where there's some overspray. I'll fix that later with some matte black paint. Take you inside, we got the steering wheel done. Uh, I did the center section of that. Underneath, I've got the cup holder change compartment area. And then we have the glove box and down below area. And then here we have new car seats. I got rid of the black ones because with all the driving I do in Texas and in Florida especially, having black covers just wasn't going to do it anymore. So I, and, and, they, and they weren't as durable. These are Carhartts, and I got these at a website called Covercraft.com, and they're custom fitted for this van. And they came with arm covers, which I really liked because my other arms, or I say the other, same arms, but they're covered up, uh, they were cracking. And so now I was able to cover that up instead of having to repair it. And they, they fit very nicely, they're rough, they feel nice. When I say they're rough, uh, I don't know what I mean by that. They don't feel rough on the butt. <laughs> but they're rough material, it's comfortable. It's comfortable, okay? If you wanna buy them, buy them, okay? <laughs> oh, anyways, so, oh, and, and then here we have the ceiling. Uh, let's not forget about that. I have the, the overhead to match the rest of the ceiling in the van. Got this whole gypsy tribe feeling, I feel. More Aztec, I don't know. But yes, this is the cab and I hope you like it. I do. I had to get rid of the gray. It was just too depressing being around all that gray all the time. I had to lighten it up a bit. So that's it. We're going to go ahead and end the vlog now. I'd like to tell you that we will finish the walls and ceiling next week, but I don't know because the fabric is still not here. It's been two or three days since the beginning of this vlog and the fabric's still not here. But I do have some materials to finish the storage area of above the cab. And so we might have that as my project next week. So next week when you're watching that video, so let, let me backtrack a bit. You're watching today's video on today, Sunday, July, whatever. I'm actually leaving Texas out of Dallas, heading towards Florida for work as we're watching this. I might not even be in Texas. I could be in Louisiana or Mississippi right now. Yeah, that's what's happening right now. I'm on my way to Florida. 
Next Sunday, if we do the storage cab area, I'll be coming back. Uh, hopefully I'll be back in Texas by that Sunday, maybe Louisiana, Mississippi. And so hopefully when I get back and you guys are watching that video, the third week from now, we can finish the walls and the ceiling, hopefully. But I've got an appointment set up to have something else done. I'm actually about to end this vlog and head somewhere else to try to make another appointment for another item. I've got one other thing coming in the mail on July 11th. That's another project. So I've got things in motion. It's just, I'm almost at the beck and call of other people right now before I can actually film it. Okay, that's all I got folks. You can leave now. Go, get out of here. Stop looking at me. <laughs> Peace. I'll have some things in the mail waiting for me to, that will allow me to finish the walls and some other things. All right, folks, I'm done talking. I'm sure you're done listening. Peace. Are you shitting me? Testing one, two. This is the second attempt because my dumb ass didn't hit the record button apparently. At this rate of speed, these videos are going to take days to finish. <laughs> Spend more time changing t shirts than actually filming and working. All right, man, it's freaking hot out here in Texas. Starting to feel like a dirty Filipino.